Hi right, guys, it's Monday the 19th, uh, yes, 19th, and it's 20 past one. I'm on my lunch break. Um, I've not been too good. I, that's why no videos have gone out. You may hear my voice every now and then. Um, I think a bit, a bit of a chest infection, so hey ho, never mind. <laughs> Life carries on, never mind me moaning. Right, time to mix some, my own blend, let's say, of some seed compost. So I do need to get some seeds going. I've just not really had the mojo with um, being ill, obviously. I've um, not been down allotment because that is still like a swamp. Anyway, let me show you what I'm using. Let me spin you around. So I'm going to give this a go mixed with some of the cocoa croy that I've got down there. It's actually a load of it over here. Oh. Right, you can see I've already opened this bag up and I've already started to sieve. I brought some cocoa oil in from over there. Let's see if we can me somewhere and let's see how we're looking. Right, so I'm going to lose sieve this through. I'm just trying to get rid of the big fibres really. I know it's koi and I know I'm probably think well, you're going to get fibres everywhere. But I just want to get rid of most of the big fibres really. This is a 10 mil sieve that I'm using and it's starting to block the hole already. Now I'm not going to put any perlite or vermiculite in this mix because the koi should keep it dampness for the seeds but not get it too wet if that makes sense. To be fair there wasn't that much strands left in let's be honest. That's about it. So I'm going to do is Give it a bit of a mix. I don't need a great deal because I'm not doing that many seeds at the moment. Um, I've not got the area to grow loads of seeds this year. So I'm just going to be doing a few and they can go in the house in my little seven pot propagation heater mat thing. I think that really is the best. I'm gonna get it. Now, if I squeeze it, it sticks together, but it's not like a clump. So let's go and get one of the actual things that I'm gonna be filling up and I'll show you what I mean. Right, here's my little garland things I use. I think there's seven, I think. Yeah, seven. A couple of little tray window propagator, but it's also got like a heater mat underneath it. It's not heat controlled. So obviously, all I need to do is fill these up. Give it a pat down. That's all I'm going to do. Get all these. And then that can sit on there. And I'm hoping to get six seeds of what I'm doing in each one of these. So two, four, six. I'm going to start doing a little bit of chilli plants. Um, maybe some brassicas, cauliflowers, etc. So I'm just going to fill up the rest of these. And then I'll come back to you in a bit. That's them ready, I think. Right, and then they'll, uh, I'm gonna leave them here now to get to room temperature. No problem, put some seeds in tomorrow. Right, thanks for watching, and see you all soon.